ஆனால் தண்ணி குடிக்கிறது தண்ணி இல்லாமல் சரியான கஷ்டப்பட்ட கிணறுகள் இல்லை இந்த ப பக்கத்தில் ஒரு கோ கோயில் கிணறுன்னு சொல்லி ஒரு குழாயை அடிச்சு தந்துருந்தாங்க அதில் தான் எல்லா சனமும் குளிக்கணும் குடிக்கணும் எல்லாம் செய்யணும் சரியான கஷ்டப்பட்டோம் நல்ல தண்ணியே கிடைக்காது எங்களுக்கு The last eight years have been the hottest years ever recorded. According to the latest figures from NASA and NOAA, 2021 came in at sixth place. The Earth is now about 1.1 Celsius warmer than it was in the late 1800s. And Sri Lanka is one of the most climate vulnerable countries in the world. Over 7 billion US dollars have been recorded in damages in Sri Lanka due to the recurring natural disasters. We all know that climate change equals warmer temperatures. But temperature rise? That's just the beginning of the story. The consequences of climate change include rising sea levels, intense droughts, catastrophic storms and declining biodiversity and more. The increasing frequency and intensity of these extreme weather events affect the lives and livelihoods of millions of Sri Lankans. मूले के बतूर के अटलू है तमा जल संपादन करने हैं मुकदमे हैं टापी टे वाहिन्ने खाने के टा सरे आग पितर वाहगे गोड़ाक मत ये ने वीली खाले कोने आग एक अत्यक काफी मनोतरम महान सिवना तापी टे गोवितरे निष्प्रयोजनीय गन है क्या वक्ले बुन्ने मन्नार मावड़ दे पुरुतवरे ले निगल पांडे रोले न directs the fight against climate change both in Sri Lanka and around the world. The Conference of Parties is the highest decision-making body of the convention. COP has made significant achievement in its field since its establishment and set ambitious goals including climate action plans or nationally determined contributions from its member states. COP27 is now being held in Sham El Sheikh, Egypt. COP27 is an opportunity to move the needle and emphasizes the need to turn bold ambition into action. The United Nations in Sri Lanka is at the forefront of combating climate change, systematically focusing efforts on climate action, mitigation and resilience through various interventions. These interventions include working with children and young people who are most at risk due to the climate crisis creating awareness, strengthening their knowledge and empowering action among them to protect the environment. The United Nations in Sri Lanka is also supporting the advancement of the country's shift towards a green development trajectory through three key areas, including research and diagnostics, policy development, including a 2050 net zero roadmap, strategic plan addressing policy gaps and finally, innovative and sustainable financing for development. Climate change affects us all, across all demographics and aspects of our lives. Every one of us has a role to play, a responsibility, from proper disposal of waste to critical change in climate policies. The decisions we take today will affect every generation to come. Together, we can prove that a green, sustainable, climate-resilient future can go hand-in-hand hand with the social and economic prosperity for all.